The price of gasoline isn't stopping them, inflation doesn't keep them from spending for the family vacation, and the town between the two big cities is reaping the profit. Tourism brings in at least $100 million a year to Arlington, a figure that has grown with the Texas Rangers winning streaks and new amusement parks in the area. The city's motel operators are smiling all the way to the bank, too. Tourist Bureau surveys show a shift away from area tourists to those from outside the North Texas region, just the kind of people that need to stay overnight or longer. And for some reason, this year is better than ever. People are going to take vacations regardless. If they have to take it on an unemployment check, they're not going to interrupt their vacation plans. And this, this is an outlet for them. It gives them a chance to really forget the, the economic problems that they have. So they still, still take their vacations. If this weekend saw the number of visitors it was expected to, it probably equaled 1973 when Arlington set a record for tourism. And by the end of 1975, probably more than 4 million people will have paid a visit to the big little town between Dallas and Fort Worth. This may be a record year for Arlington's tourist industry, but it may also be the peak year. Tourist Bureau officials say the city may have reached its saturation point on the number of attractions it can crowd in here and the amount of money it can get from them. If that's true, Arlington will have to come up with some new and unusual attraction to beckon the tourists and keep the industry here booming. Maury Dial, Channel 8 News in Arlington.